What's up, dudes and dudes to the air now? My name's Seth, and we are back again for another troll of Genova. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastic and wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. So this is what a vault club looks like, everybody, because I know I didn't end up showing it on camera because at the time I was full on clubs. Uh, I have actually left my story mode club to an alternate account just so that I can still keep the club and expand upon it if I ever end up finding the time. And now I've just started my own giveaway club, I call it, and it's a vault world. So the difference between these worlds and a normal club world is that we can't build anything this is all there is to this world uh, and both the club chest and the officer chest have 15 more slots of inventory each meaning that we have a total of 30 slots personally speaking i think that this club is absolutely useless outside of the fact that they could have easily just coded normal club worlds so that they ha would have more space in the club and officer chest uh, and instead they went a very weird route like this but uh the other biggest reason why it's not really that good uh, is the fact that unfortunately you can't build here so we can't rearrange any of this stuff and there's no forge here with his which is a mandatory item uh, as far as like building and everything like that is concerned and, uh, and not building like trading and stuff right and then there's actually a secret down here where if you look up you can actually see that weird glowing red block isn't that strange I think that's the block that's actually preventing us uh, from building or anything like that but let's hop over to the hub okay we're dead let's hop over to the hub through this portal but also everybody before we get started we got lots of crazy prizes to give away and yeah i know what you're probably thinking passively about the ooh, the hub is all different now because they got rid of all the halloween stuff for some reason i know what you're thinking you're sitting here thinking oh my goodness gracious this costume's beautiful no i know that it is beautiful thanks be yellow but Probably talking about the dark wings, the dark Pegasus wings, right? So I, the person that ended up giving those to me, oddly enough, didn't want a shout out. So I just want to say thank you for the wings. And for today, let's just go to normal primal world just because why not? And then while we're in the loading screen here, thank you to Snappy Omega, Inferno Boy, Mar CTYS, and Chronozilla. We're going to be giving away a whole plethora of different items. I hope that that is the word that I'm supposed to be using, but we're going to be giving away Rainbow Wings, check. Throne of the Dark Spirits, check. Valorous File, double check. Arcanium Crawler, check. Pumpkin Patch Poltergeist, check. And then Four Springy Skulls, Double, triple, quad, check. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be giving all of those away today, folks. And if you want to win any of them, as well as just supporting me in the videos, I would very much appreciate if you would hit that like button, be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section down below with your username. And Scarlet Inspire will let you know, hey, dude, you ended up winning. And then you got to catch either myself or Nintendo Gamer in game. And then outside of that, folks, quite a few very interesting developments have been happening as far as Trove is concerned. If you haven't already noticed on the front part of the screen, uh, there's the Movember event, which is starting right now. Unfortunately, I forgot to mention that in uh, yesterday's video. Sorry about that. Uh, but all you got to do is go to the vault section and oh, it's already right there. There it is. So that's going to give you the mustache mag rider, a couple different face mustache styles, and then the mustache block. So Devs don't realize that they unintentionally ended up doing a big shout out to Markiplier because for some weird reason he has a pink mustache thing going on for him, right? Let me get the bombs out. And then also, most importantly of all, I shouldn't even be doing this stupid kill 30 enemy dungeon, but we're going to. Most importantly of all, on the front hand of the screen, you're going to notice Trove is coming to PS4 and Xbox One soon. So I was actually under the impression that they were going to end up delaying this because for the longest time they ended up having this on the test server and then they took it off of the test server and it didn't show up on the live server, which told me, okay, maybe they're maybe they're not confident enough in the game just yet. Maybe they're gonna wait for it to come out on consoles. Man, these wings are swag, aren't they? But that doesn't mean that it's necessary. Okay, that doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to come out this year. Hopefully, it does because there's still a couple more months. But 
Honestly speaking, we'll see and who knows. It would make more sense for them to release it sometime around the holidays, but with how pay to win this game is, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna end up doing on consoles. And I'm just saying my honest opinion about that. Otherwise, myself personally, I've talked about this countless times in streams, not so much in an episode, but I'm very, very excited for when Trove does come out to consoles because it's going to be, uh, give me the opportunity to start a new file from scratch and also not buy anything. I'm not gonna spend a cent. Whereas on this PC version, yeah, I've spent money on this game over over the years. You know, I've spent uh, quite a bit just on all the starting stuff at the beginning of the game because the deals were actually really, really good. And more recently, I mean, honestly speaking, folks, even though I'm kind of like, Troven YouTube is my thing, so I don't bat an eyelash to buying something in this game. I feel, oh, we just got stellar on camera. Nice. And it's an Uggles bow, too. Ugh. Well, if anybody wants that, that'll be another giveaway prize today just because, hey, why not? But anyways, as I was saying, folks, I, I've actually not been buying that much of the more recent Trove stuff because honestly speaking, I mean, you know me, lots of the older fans and people that are just tuning in, you know, I'm not against pay to win in any way, shape or form, but I am against bad deals. So that's why, you know, I'll do like videos on all the different packs in the game and stuff like that. The ones that I don't have a video on, by the way, I just want to mention this just so I can say it publicly, like the Penta pack, the pack that's the Radiant pack and stuff like that. I don't have videos on those because I have nothing good to say about them. They're just that bad, like don't even buy them. But needless to say, the most recent packs, like there was even that one that ended up giving you a bunch of like 100 dragon shards, the Dragonite pack or whatever it was, right? I actually didn't even bother buying that one because personally speaking, that is a really bad deal, you know? As much as, okay, it gets you a little bit closer to getting the Primordial Dragons. Personally speaking, I've made peace with the fact that I'm probably never going to get a Primordial Dragon until I just conveniently end up having 400 Dragonite Shards. And even then, honestly speaking, folks, I'm going to hang on to my Dragonite Shards because you never know when the devs are going to add something else that's going to cost the Dragonite Shards because the devs have talked about that. And personally speaking, even though I love those Primordial Dragons, Dragons, they're beautiful. I'll probably end up crafting at least one of them, not necessarily all three of them. But even though they're beautiful, I've already got Gonda, man. I, I really don't, like, I, I jokes aside, I don't really care about the Primordial Dragons. They're beautiful, don't get me wrong, and I still do want to make the Air Dragon for sure. But I'm not holding my breath about it, you know? At first it was all exciting, uh, opening the Empowered Jump Boxes and stuff like that was very exciting at the thought of being able to finally get my hands on a Diamond Dragon Egg, but... I mean, what can I say? I didn't end up, like, I haven't gotten it for the life of me. Oh, look at this! This is a nice little secret to this dungeon I wonder if anybody knew about. Normally, you had to actually blast your way into that tomb, so it's kind of surprising that they ended up actually making it blown open so that more players could actually see what was inside it without having to bomb their way in, you know? So that's, that's kind of cool. But yeah, needless to say, even though I'm kind of repeating myself here, yeah, I'm very excited about the console version. I'm going to be on the Xbox One version, so sorry to the fans that are on uh, PS4 and stuff like that, what the game is going to offer outside of just a new, like starting the game fresh and stuff like that, means that I'm going to be able to have a, a, a better understanding of what it is all of you end up going through with this game and that is what's actually the most exciting for me because I'm really looking forward to actually updating a lot of my here's how you start out in Trove tutorial videos and stuff like that because honestly speaking I'm very out of touch with how this game actually starts and a lot of that is just because I've been playing this game before there was a paywall in the way. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's the biggest reason why I'm very excited about the console version because I think it'll give me a better understanding as to just how pay to win this game actually is and uh, how the grinding ends up working for Flux and everything and just how difficult it actually is to get your hands on radiant, if not stellar, gear. And not to mention the market's gonna be 
complete poop on the console version, isn't it? Now, on the side before we call today's episode, folks, I just want to let you know that there is a new dragon coming very, very soon. It's actually already on the test server, and it's going to be another one like the candy dragon that we're going to be able to hunt for, right? So it's going to be a big, like, he pretty much is like a giant fish. <laughs> And, uh, he's cool, but at the same time, there's lots of people that don't really like him, although that means that there's gonna probably be, I don't want to do a 30 enemy thing, there's probably gonna be lots of people that will like it, it's gonna be another dragon that you farm, you're gonna farm it, at least right now on the test server, you're gonna farm it in the ocean world, not just normal uber worlds like we're in right now, just the ocean biomes only. Like the water world, the primordial water world, whatever it's called, I don't care, but that world inside the ocean is a very rare chance of finding the dragon and then of course similar to the chocolate dragon you're gonna have to craft uh the dragon itself out of the dragon souls that you're gonna get from farming that sucker but the thing that is a little bit worrying is i think that it's safe to say that the devs were a little bit salty at the fact that people ended up grinding the chocolate dragon within like only a matter of hours, you know? Because they wanted it to be something really, really difficult. And for new players, it is, but they're only focused on the late game players and stuff like that, right? So the only point that I'm trying to get at is, I'm not gonna say it right now just because it is still on the test server and it's subject to change, but the crafting recipe for that thing is, I mean, it's, it's millions of flux. Like, <laughs> it's not something new players are going to be able to afford. So hopefully they end up adjusting that to being something a little bit more worthwhile. And the people that have uh, that have talked to me and said how they've actually found the dragon on the test server, because I haven't found it myself, uh, but they did say that it ended up taking them, like, they explored the entire world and only found two of the dragons. So that's a lot of dedication right there that i i mean i guess it's exciting but i don't know but either way i'm rambling now so thanks so much for watching folks hope you enjoyed hope you have a fantastic day sign on and stay epic